the state television company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Broadcast for today. The head of the Gadi Zanahit was found in Western Armenia. The sons of Western Armenia, Komitas, Sogomon, Sogomonian. The Karkeshishan's first concert in Yerevan brought together people of Artsakh. 25 Armenian artists from Germany in one exhibition. It is delusion, Andrei Nikulin on Baku's statement. The Yafa Halkalaki will be celebrated on 5 September. Kaini from Jafak conquered the peak of Ararat. A remarkable fossil was discovered in Western Armenia in the ancient Armenian lands. As a result of the excavations, the head sculpture of the Armenian goddess Anahit was found, which is an exceptional part of the Armenian cultural heritage. Anahit, being the goddess of fertility, nature and motherhood, had a large place in the Armenian belief. Her worship was widespread throughout Armenia and especially during the reign of Artashesian of Great Armenia. These discoveries are of great importance for the preservation of Armenian culture and spiritual heritage. If Komitas Vartapet wrote only Antonin, that would be enough to rank him among the great artists. This was said by Claude Debussy. Komitas Vartapet, Solomon Solomonia, was a composer who collected and wrote down Armenian folk songs and music, which made him one of the most famous Armenians in the world and among Armenians. His extensive and detailed work, which was done shortly before the destruction caused by the genocide against Armenians, played a huge role in recording the inexhaustible treasury of Armenian culture and saving it from direct destruction. Komitas was born in Kyotahia, Western Armenia. Having lost his parents in his childhood, he was taken to Echmiadzin, the spiritual center of the Armenian Apostolic Church, and entered the Gevorkian Seminary. His exceptional voice and talent stood out immediately. The Catholicos often called him to speak in the presence of the guests. While studying at the seminary, Komitas traveled from village to village, collecting and writing down Armenian folk songs and then moved to Tiflis, present-day Tbilisi, at Makar Yekmalyan to continue his education. For the meditation of uh, Hrimyan Hayrik, he received financial support from Alexander Mantashev and after Tiflis, he left for Germany to study at Friedrich Wilhelm University, now Humboldt University in Berlin. After completing his studies, Komitas returned to Echmiadzin and dedicated his activities to songwriting with greater enthusiasm. He collected 3,000 up to 5,000 songs, of which only 1,200 have reached us. During this period, he also created works which gained him great recognition among Armenians and beyond. After living in Constantinople for some time, he went to Paris, psychiatric hospital, where he died in 1945, 10 years after the genocide against Armenians. No one knows to this day what later happened to the many volumes of his studies, which he never managed to publish. It is difficult to overestimate Komitas' contribution to the revival of Armenian music and, in general, Armenian culture after the genocide. The Armenian community of Western Armenia and the whole world are effectively indebted to him for his selfless dedication and priceless contribution to the preservation of Armenian culture. In the Komitas Museum Institute, the concert took place of Zakar Keshishan, a reed pipe player, duduk player, founder of Shushis Varanda Choir, artistic director, chairman of the Central Department of the National Armenian Education and Cultural Union, and Nadezhda Hakopian, a pianist from Artsakh. The title of the concert was called Mias Naganj, and after the occupation of Artsakh, this is Zakar Keshishan's first concert that brings together the people of Artsakh outside of Artsakh. Over the past 40 years, Zakhar Keshishan has become the favorite of the people of Artsakh, so the concert was a good opportunity for the culture-loving people of Artsakh to gather again and enjoy the performances of their favorite musician. The head of the Diocese of Artsakh, political and cultural figures were also present at the concert. An exhibition event dedicated to Parajano's 100th anniversary was organized by the Leipzig Armenian Cultural Union with the works of about 25 Armenian German artists. The artists presented their works with Parajanov motifs. Most of the artists from different cities presented the subjects of their paintings. Artist Anahit Mokorchan briefly presented Parajanov's biography. Pastor Hakop Hakopian and Sahak Yeryazaryan from the representative of Republic of Armenian Embassy were also present at the opening as well as the representatives of various cultural associations of the city of Leipzig. 
The event took place within the framework of Intercultural Weeks of Lip Sync, Intercultural Ocean Lip Sync 2024, as well as within the framework of Yerevan Lip Sync Sister Cities, and with the cooperation of the Embassy of Eastern Armenia. The exhibition will continue until September 14, then it will be shown in different cities of Germany. In a conversation with Alpha News, political scientist Andrei Nikulin referred to the statement of Hikmet Hajiev, assistant to the president of Baku, that the international community should impose restrictions on the armed forces of Eastern Armenia. Baku continues to exert pressures, reminding of the imbalance. However, this does not mean that Armenia will be forced in any way, because for this it is necessary to win a real war. However, no one expects such a thing because its consequences will be very difficult for Baku in the form of international isolation. For more than a year behind the scenes, negotiations have been going on over the issues of a peace treaty, demarcation and transport corridors. As part of this process, Baku regularly makes such drastic statements, said Nikulin. The celebration day of the Akhalkalaki city is scheduled for September 5 this year. This year, the city of Akhalkalaki turns 960 years old. Ceremonial events will begin at the central park of Akhalkalaki. Kaine Oganesan is one of the few people from Javakh who managed to overcome the height of 5,147 meters of Mount Arad and find the inscription from Javakh to Arad on the top of the biblical mountain. Our heroine has started climbing mountains since she was 18 years old together with the Trichk Trekking Club. The idea of climbing Mount Ararat arose last year in August 2023, but it became a reality in August 2024. She notes that there were certainly concerns, but they did not prevent her from climbing to the top of Ararat. When talking about feelings, Gaini says, the most beloved emotions are both at the top and during the ascent. You try to feel every moment and I felt the support of good people and I had the will to defeat my fears and thoughts. 19 years old Gaini Oganisan is from Sulda village of Ahal Kalaki region. This was all for today. Goodbye.